Congressman Terrific. Anthony Weiner. Good morning, uh, Congressman Weiner. Good morning, Donald. How are you? I'm doing well. When you pick these songs, oh, uh, and uh, not not bad. Excitable Boy, Warren Zevon, Warmed Over Kisses, Dave Edmonds, <clears throat> Ryan Adams, a great song. Public Enemy, Fight to Power, Jimmy Cliff. Did you pick them yourself? No, actually, Warner picked them for me. <laughs> yeah. Does your wife, soon-to-be wife, help you pick them? No, these are, these are some of my favorite songs. Okay. What, you, you don't like my choices? Yes, I do. I think they're good. No, I think they're good. I, I what do you think of the massive situation? You want to yeah. weigh in on that, or you want to sidestep that, too? Look, I mean, it, it's pretty clear from these interviews the guy's one taco short of a Happy Meal, but, or one taco short of a combo, whatever the expression is, but... Look, he, he has some serious health issues he has to get resolved. Um, and I don't know why these accusations of impropriety are always coming down on the guys that are having tickle fights with their staffers. It just seems so unfair, the stereotype. <laughs> uh, and here in New York, Governor Patterson a lot of problems. What do you think he ought to do? Well, whatever he's going to do, he should do it quickly. I mean, these are very serious charges. I think we should have a quick investigation. And if it turns out that he did these things, I don't think he can govern. And I think even he would say that. Uh, the problem that we have now in New York is we don't have little minor problems. We have giant fiscal challenges that we need a governor that's firing on all cylinders, and it's clear that that's not happening now. The governor said he wants this investigated. I think he's right, and I think he did the right thing by saying he's not going to run for re-election. Now the question is, if these charges turn out to be true, I think even, pro even uh, uh, Governor Patterson would admit that he would have to step down and let someone else do the job. How big a crook is Charlie Rangel? On a scale of one to what? Oh, we'll say no, ten. It, it, Char say ten. Char Charlie Ra look, here, it, Charlie is another guy. I mean, i got to tell you something. Charlie Rangel served our country. He served our state very well. I can't believe we keep getting drips and drips and drips. I want the Ethics Committee to just let us know what they have. Let us decide whether they're serious, not serious. Charlie Rangel did the right thing also by stepping down, not so much because what he had been charged with was all that serious, but because it was a clear distraction, and, and I think he should be honored for doing that. Uh, but, you know, i got to tell you something. Every couple of weeks, a little fact dribbles out of the Ethics Committee. I hope they just, just get this information out there once and for all. Uh, do you ever use a house gym? I'm in there all the time. I just came from there. Oh, okay. You ever seen Rahm Emanuel walking around naked, pointing, pointing his finger in people's chest when he used to serve in the house? I have very few hard and fast rules. One of them is not to have sword fights in the morning with Rahm Emanuel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>